The Honourable Mr. Dr. Nick Speaker. Smith. Uh, it is true that um, New Zealand vehicles are both old uh, and dirty. Uh, it's also true that an emissions trading scheme applied to the transport sector would provide some incentives. The new government has taken the initiative to provide a tax incentive uh, for electric car technologies, which is a step forward. Uh, the new government tends to favour financial instruments that provide incentives rather than getting excessively regulatory about the choices that different New Zealanders have in making a choice of vehicle. Materia Today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can the Minister confirm whether or not the Prime Ministers of Great Britain or Australia have personally contacted his government regarding the setting of a 2020 target after his government's failure to do so in Bonn this month? The Honourable Dr. Mr. Speaker, I am aware that Prime Minister John Key had discussions with climate change with Prime Minister Rudd and that he set uh, both myself and my equivalent, Penny Wong in Australia, on working more closely together. Uh, I have discussed with officials the question that has been raised by the Greens, and they have not had any concern expressed about the timetable for New Zealand setting a 2020 target. I would note that this is the first time that a government is actually consulting with the public about this issue. I also have to say that the Lucas Forest satellite data is critical to New Zealand making that decision, and we will receive that information next month.